Hi, I'm Patty Marie Smith, Rob's wife, and he is really busy with the pilot line pressing and testing all of the batteries, but is going to come in in a minute to explain the kit that I have in front of me. As part of our mission, which is education and getting you experimenting, we're going to hold a second live event. And we thought that the most helpful thing that would uh, be to look at actually making graphene. This seems to have been one of his really popular videos. It seems to be something that people ask about a lot. And so we've decided that our second live event will be about making graphene. Rob's chosen the electrochemical exfoliation method and we have a kit of everything that you need except for a few little bits of equipment which we'll explain in a minute in order to be able to do the experiment along with Rob. The date is set as Saturday the 9th of February. I know we said we were going to do one in January but Rob's been selected for a UK trade mission to Japan and therefore we've had to postpone it slightly so to, up until the 9th of February and the time will be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. UK time. I've tried to make it accessible to as many people as I can, and I'm really sorry, Australia. Right, Rob's going to come and explain to you what the experiment actually is that you'll be doing and what's in the kit that has gone up for sale today at our, on our web shop at www.workinginc.co.uk. Rob. Thank you, sweetheart. So, um, graphene and making graphene is obviously really important, particularly in batteries, and very popular with people, and a lot of people want to make graphene. The only problem with making graphene is most of it is dangerous or scary or just downright poisonous and explosive. So, coming up with a method for making graphene that you can um, do yourselves at home that is safe was a little bit challenging. But one of the better methods of doing it is the electrochemical method. Now you basically make up a cell and you pass a current and it sucks the ions into the graphite and then that flakes off. You give that a bit more mechanical and you'll get graphene out of it. Now it's not as good just to suck the ions in. What you want to do is suck them in a little bit, push them out, suck them in, push them out. So it's kind of like a concertina where it's going in and out and in and out. And this separates off the graphene flakes um, from the graphite, making it much, much easier to then finish that separation mechanically so that you get graphene. So what we need to do that is some way of putting a voltage through that we can time and then reverse the voltage. And we want some way that's good, robust, reliable, easy to follow, requires no soldering. So we came up with this method. Um, this uses a couple of timed relays. So we've got a couple of timed relays in their blocks there, and then we've got a whole load of wire to wire it together, and we're even giving you a screwdriver. So all of that will make the circuit as long as you follow the circuit diagram, and that's in there as well. So we make that circuit, and what that circuit does is it applies a voltage to the electrodes and then reverses that voltage. So it applies plus 12 and then on one side and plus 12 on the other side, and that circuit will continue to reverse those and create that concertina effect that we were talking about. And that will suck the ions into the graphite. Now we want a source of graphite, and as it happens, graphol is pretty cool for that, so we're going to supply a couple of bits of graphol. We can hold those three apart with a couple of these blocks here and some putty that we've given, some waterproof putty in there to hold them apart. Make that, connect that to our circuit, and then turn it on. And then that will concertina in and out. So these will become anode and cathode, anode and cathode, anode, swapping over, concertina both sides. When we've done that for a bit, we can scrape that off. So that's what we're aiming to do. Obviously, some crocodile clips. Now, the good thing about this stuff is, surprisingly enough, it'll do really, really well with an innocent salt. This is sodium chloride. And when we're going to supply you with sodium chloride, uh, although I guess you could just go to your kitchen cupboard if you like, but if you, if you don't, we're going to supply the sodium chloride. You put the sodium chloride into the cell, perform that swapping, and it will exfoliate the graph oil for you into relatively large flakes. Now these flakes need a little bit of further processing, but it's really simple processing. The better way to do it would be in a... Um, sonicator. Thank you, sweetheart. In a sonicator bath. Uh, I'm really tired, actually, because we're doing tons of things. We've got so much to do. But like as Patty said, we have a commitment to this, so we're going to do it. Sonication bath. 
Now, I know a lot of people don't have a sonication bath. They don't want to spend on one because it can be a bit uh, expensive. And we're going to also do a mechanical system where we use a blender. I mean, an ordinary kitchen blender, sonication bath. The power supply you're going to need is either a power supply or a 12-volt battery. Here's a couple of little 6-volt lead acids. Connect those in series, you'll have your 12 volts. So your 12-volt battery or a power supply, kitchen blender, get a sonicator, awesome. Now, in order to collect that, what we need to do is put it in suspension and hold it in suspension. And that little orange thing there is actually vitamin B2. Um, so we're using kitchen salt and vitamin B2. Really safe. So you're not going to get anything that's really uh, much safer than these two things that we've uh, gone to include in the kit for you. So you can do a very nice, safe way of making graphene. And we're going to run that show and go through that again with you. Now we've timed it for um, two to three hours. So it'll be about two or three hours long while we make the circuit, make the graphene, exfoliate it, and we'll exfoliate it in a blender. I'll also show how to exfoliate it in a sonicator, but we'll actually do it in a blender because it, the blender takes about 10 minutes actually. And it shrinks everything down so that we can um, do it in that time scale without taking like six hours or so. Uh, and that's the plan. And as Paddy said, these kits are actually up for sale now. So the kit contains everything apart from uh, the beaker, the blender, the power supply. And the... Wire cutters. Oh, and apparently the wire cutters. So you're going to need some wire cutters as well. I think everything else in there is, is uh, all you actually need in, able to be able, in, in order to be able to do this. Again, I'll have exactly the same kit. So um, we'll open the kit and we'll work through it together. Anyway, I hope that's of interest to you. Um, it is about making graphene safely at home. We're going to be doing it together in the same way that we made a battery. And I look forward to seeing you there.